A portion of this video is sponsored by MediaTek. For four episodes of this series so far, we've tackled the question, how does a folding display change the way you use your smartphone? Well, almost two years ago, Lenovo put the same question to laptops. And today, we finally get to start answering it. I got my first preview of the ThinkPad X1 Fold before it even had a proper name back in May of 2019. But if you missed that and the hands-on from CES back in January, let me give you a quick refresher. While you might be tempted to think of this as a tablet, Lenovo calls it a foldable PC, and that's really how I'd encourage you to think of it too. At 2.2 pounds, or about one kilogram, it's beastly for a tablet. And it's not built on the kind of mobile architecture we've come to expect from tablets either. Under the hood, the X1 Fold is a full-on personal computer, from its home edition build of Windows 10 to the fan-cooled Intel Core i5 it runs on. So get the whole, should I buy this or buy an iPad question out of your head. This is really just a different kind of ultra-portable laptop. I'll cover how well the X1 Fold delivers on that promise in my full review. Today, I want to focus on the foldable aspect. And the best way to do that is to answer the question that people have been peppering me with since I teased this video on Twitter. Why? Why would I want a folding screen on a laptop? It's a good question, and to answer it, let's take a look at a conventional laptop of about the same size, the Lenovo Flex 5G I reviewed this past summer. For all its tricks, this will always have the footprint of a 14-inch notebook. Open, closed, open and closed, it'll always be at least this big. Now, compare that with the X1 Fold. When I open it to its full 13.3 inches, I get almost as much screen real estate as the Flex 5G. It supports itself in landscape mode using a built-in kickstand, so I can move the wireless keyboard anywhere relative to the display. I can use a mouse, or I can interact directly on the touchscreen. I can even prop it up in portrait mode if I want, with a stand. When I have the space to spread out, this is even more versatile than a standard laptop. But what if I don't have the space to spread out? Well, that's where the foldable display starts to pay for itself. I bend the X1 Fold into a laptop shape and click the keyboard into its magnetic landing zone. Just like that, the screen shrinks to half size, I ditch my mouse for the trackpad, and I'm netbooking like it's 2009. In a former life, this would have been heaven for airplane or train tray tables. Oh, that's clever. In 2020, it mainly comes in handy at Brooklyn coffee shops with their manhole-sized outdoor tables. And when it comes time to pack up and go, not only does the X1 Fold collapse into a more petite package than a laptop, it does so with a dazzling display of engineering alacrity. See, you don't have to carry the keyboard separately. It stays right in the middle of that OLED sandwich, where it also charges wirelessly. It also includes a loop for the Lenovo Mod Pen, so that's not rattling around in your bag, a bag that can now be much smaller, because the machine's closed footprint is about the size of a hardback novel. One bound in real leather, by the way. Now, if that pen perked your ears up, don't worry, we'll come back to it. And of course, no discussion of foldables is complete without tackling the durability question. And I'll have surprises for you in both categories, I think, after a quick word from my sponsor. You know what I like doing a lot? Ordering food delivery. You know what's often expensive and really unhealthy? Ordering food delivery. So my sponsor, MediaTek, sent over this smart oven from Amazon. I know, I know, that's like two different flavors of what? But it's true, Amazon sells a smart oven, and it's everything a kitchen noob like me needs it to be. Struggle-free, tinker-free, and stress-free. I mean, it's also a combination microwave, convection oven, and air fryer, but the important thing is that I can control it with my voice, just like the Star Trek food replicator I've always wanted. Alexa, tea, Earl Grey, hot. Food replication complete. Splendid. 
The Amazon Smart Oven is just one of dozens of smart home devices powered by MediaTek, the world's number one connectivity provider. To learn more, visit this link. And thanks to MediaTek for sponsoring this video. So, in a category of devices where durability is still a big focus, just how robust is the X1 Fold? Well, I wanted to be able to answer that question over the long term, so I actually bought this device. And just like I did with folding phones this year, I'll be using the X1 Fold as consistently as I can throughout 2021 to see how well it ages. But my initial experience, at least with the hardware, is encouraging. Back at CES, Lenovo showed us how it anchored this LG OLED panel with carbon fiber plates and magnesium alloy. It showed us how that folding display is mounted to hinges that allow you to choose any angle you want. And when fully open, those hinges impart tension to the display to stretch it taut. One effect of that is that unlike every foldable phone we've seen to date, whose screens are bisected by distinctive seams, the X1 Fold has only the barest hint of a double crease down the middle. If you're not looking for it, you're not going to see it. And in a world where Galaxy Fold fans are waiting for Samsung to develop a folding screen rugged enough to hold up to an S Pen, Lenovo has already done it. For the past two days, I've been using the X1 Fold's Mod Pen to navigate its interface on and off, and in my one extended session using it as a tablet, I spent about a half hour scribbling a little planet scene in Paint 3D. Despite all that, there is not a scratch to be seen on this screen yet. Now, I realize that some of this may have sounded like a love letter to the X1 Fold or perhaps a sponsored video, but it is neither. In the full review, I will expound upon the several ways this device falls short of its roughly $3,000 price tag. Spoiler alert, a lot of it has to do with Windows. But Into the Fold is about how flexible displays change the way we use our technology. With this device, Lenovo brings the portability advantages of folding phones to the world of PCs. It's adding functionality to that world through its very clever accessory design. And so far, at least, it's proving that we don't have to settle for durability compromises along the way. So yes, it's very expensive. There's a lot of issues with Windows, which again, I'll get to in that full review. But if you're closing out 2020, still thinking foldables won't be a big part of our mobile future, well, based on the hardware alone, devices like the X1 Fold should make you think twice. This video was produced after three days with a ThinkPad X1 Fold retail device purchased by Mr. Mobile's publisher. While there are some great sponsored showcases out there I'd encourage you to check out, this isn't one of them. Lenovo did not provide compensation for this coverage, nor was it given copy approval rights or an early preview. The opinions contained herein are mine and mine alone. Please subscribe if you'd like to help me make more videos like this in the future, and check out the other episodes of Into the Fold in my series playlist on YouTube. Until next time, thanks for watching, and if you can't stay home, then stay safe and mask up as you stay mobile, my friends.